guys and welcome back to my channel. I am just so excited this morning because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my morning devotion and how it is I go about studying the scripture. So right now, um, I just woke up, I washed my face, I made my tea and I'm getting ready to um, go ahead and begin. So now in this clip, I am... Um, what am I looking for in this clip? Oh, right. I'm looking for, um, I have a playlist on my YouTube. Um, it says Mornings with Jesus. And I'm just looking for a particular um, instrumental that I play. I don't always play the instrumental during um, my devotions, but I do sometimes. So this morning I decided to do it to kind of like set the atmosphere, you know, and um, that's what I'm doing right now. Guys, I absolutely believe in setting your atmosphere and your environment. So in this clip, what you're seeing here, I've already, um, I have my instrumental playing, as you guys can hear, and I love candles. I love candles that smell so delicious. It's a strawberry um, fragrance. Um, I light my candle, I have my music playing, and I like to make sure that my atmosphere is set. So what I usually try to do is say a little prayer before, um, um, I go ahead to really find out what it is I am I am going to rewrite. Sometimes I just go straight into the Word, but I've been trying to really these days ask the Holy Spirit to guide me on exactly what it is my spirit or my soul would need at this particular time. So right now, um, He gave me the scripture for today, and it's Romans 8.29. So right now, I'm just turning my Bible. This is a woman's study Bible. It's an NIV um, woman's study Bible. It's great. It's an excellent uh, for your study time. I will leave a link down in the description below. And I will also put a picture of the screen so that you guys can see um, exactly what Bible it is. So, okay. So right now, I'm in chapter 8 of Romans. And I'm just skimming through um, the entire chapter. But my focus today would be on the verse verse 29 so right now I'm currently highlighting verse 29 and verse 30 because they somewhat go together but um i saw romans 8 29 today so i'm going to be obedient and focus on that and probably later on or tomorrow i'm going to um go ahead and also get into verse 30 as well so you guys already know as i showed you in my um study tools i love to highlight in different colors i like to write in different colors it's something that you know um just keeps my attention and I've always been that person to use color I love color I'm a colorful person so um, I always um, implement that in my study time whether I'm journaling or whether I am taking notes or whether I am studying so this is one of my books um, that I showed you guys in a previous video where I do um, my individual verse study um, I'm just showing you right now what it is I do the soap method where you can see um, there's the scripture observation application and prayer this was another study that I did some time back so I'm just showing you guys like how it is I lay out and do my stuff so now I'm just gonna look for a blank piece of paper and I'm gonna get into today's um, today's verse
Okay guys, so the felt tip markers that you saw me using um, just just now in the, this clip, it's the Paper Mate um, markers, which I absolutely love them. Um, I think I purchased, uh, there were 12 in a pack, and um, I'm using those uh, in this time of devotion. Right now, what I usually do is go about using S, which is the scripture uh, in the soak method. So I am writing down the scripture verse. And what I had taught myself to do, how I go about um, the beginning process of studying the scripture, I would read the scripture and then I would look for the words within the scripture that I may not understand or I don't know the definition for. So let me see here. Um, today, I, in reading it, it says in Romans 8.29, for those before you, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. So what I'm doing right now, I have here in my notebook words that stand out. I have for you, predestined, and conformed. Even though I might, might have an idea, you know, of what some of these words mean, I still go into the Webster's Dictionary, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit, um, on my laptop, on Google, and I'm going to go and get the individual definitions for each of these words I told you guys I love my highlighting it's a must for me I have to highlight not just in one color but in like different colors I don't know it's just this is how I am guys I'm such a colorful person and color attracts me so I cannot help it I cannot help it right so as you can see my paper is looking pretty colorful right now and I have just begun So I'm continuing um, reading the scripture verse. I'm gonna I read it a few times so I can process what it is I'm reading. So my brain could actually register what it is I'm reading. I am not like everyone else. There are some people that can read and within one time reading they fully understand and grasp and get what it is they are reading in a book or in like of this particular verse. I have never been that way. I'm a person that I have to recite things over and over again to, until I am sure that I understand and I get it. So that is what um, I'm doing right now in this clip. Okay, so I'm using my washi tape. Um, this is how I use my washi tape when I'm studying. Um, in my notebook, I will use it to separate, um, you know, different sections in um, my devotion in my book. So right now, um, I'm going ahead with the next part of the soap method, which is the observation. And I'm writing down, writing out the word observation, and then I'm going to now, um, from my observation of reading the scripture, basically, what is it that you observe by the author in this book is Paul. Um, he was speaking about what the Father is saying concerning those that he foreknew. He also predestined. So for me, 
I am writing my observation and what I have here I will quickly share it with you guys I said um, Paul is speaking about those the father for you which is which is us this means he knew us before we were born we were already in him and he had uh, appointed us beforehand to conform us to his son Jesus that he who was before us could be the firstborn so that is my observation um, the understanding of the observation that I received from this scripture okay so what I'm doing now guys I usually as well I have downloaded the um, version Bible um, app on my laptop so my Bible is NIV and um, I click on this and I do a parallel version where I have the message and I think the other version as I was just showing you guys there is um, I want to say it's NLT but I always try to um, not use just one version I I'm currently writing the message version because it's a much longer um, than the NIV uh, verse but it's the wording oh my god it brings a deeper depth of understanding and revelation so I'm going to read that okay guys so I'm almost at the end here I'm getting ready to wrap up I'm on observation and then there's the application and the prayer and I'm just writing the observation of what it is um, I felt that the Lord was saying to me um, within the scripture verse that I read in Romans uh, 8 29 and then after this I'm going to do the application which is basically basically how am I going to apply this word to my life and um, I'm going to write that out and then I'm going to do my prayer. Um, basically, I'm going to pray the scripture. I'm probably going to do another video for you guys. So I hope you like this video and that's basically it. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by on my channel this morning. I pray that this uh, video today would have been a blessing to you um, as I shared with you the ways that I do my morning devotion and really more so um, how it is I would take, uh, you know, just one scripture and really meditate on that scripture and really, you know, allow the Holy Spirit to help me um, bring understanding and revelation um, of that particular scripture because I know sometimes so many people you know they need help or they need some sort of direction and how to go about uh, on their devotion time or how to go about you know spending time um, in God's presence or just how to really you know go deep in a, a particular verse or how to study the Word of God and I really truly hope that the way that I do it um, you know would have helped you because uh, when I first started to really get into studying the Word of God it was someone else on YouTube that helped me as well and gave me that direction so whoever this video is going to reach today I pray that this video would have been a blessing to you and thank you guys for stopping stopping by um please if you have not subscribed to this channel I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys next time have a blessed Monday and enjoy the rest of your week bye